paying money to expose yourself to sub-zero temperatures, all in the name of health. It's just the latest cutting-edge treatment, and it's called cryotherapy. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg is showing you where you can find it here in Southwest Florida and how it works. Stepping into a below freezing chamber may seem like something out of a sci fi movie, but some doctors say cryotherapy not only makes you feel better, but look better too. Cryo spas are popping up all across the country, but just how safe are they? Inside this chamber, it's colder than any place on Earth. 250 degrees below zero. Your instincts may tell you to avoid this cryo chamber at all costs, but doctors across the country, including Dr. Ron Repesey in Naples, hail them as the ultimate healers. The main sole purpose is for rapid recovery, uh, and basically helping people ease their pain naturally. That's right, you get inside and stay inside, but only for three minutes. I'd like to come in every day if I could, but it's because I, I really believe in it. It's pretty exciting. Connie Waldo first came to Rejuvenations for chiropractic care on her aching foot. Then Dr. Repesey said, well, you know, you should try the cryotherapy chamber because it helps with inflammation. It's a little skeptical, but I said, okay, I'll try it. She led our cameras in the room to capture her cryotherapy session. Feels good. And she says ever since her first time in the chamber three months ago, she's been hooked. When I got out, it was just invigorating and refreshing, and I had so much energy, and I was just thrilled with it. I've had a few more sessions, pain totally went away. She says the treatment puts her in a better mood. It helps her sleep at night. And cryotherapy doesn't just help her feel her best, but look her best, too. You can burn up to 800 calories. Combined with nutrition and exercise, Connie's lost 24 pounds in two months. But the best part of all? It's not painful at all. But there are dangers if used incorrectly. A spa employee in Vegas died inside a cryotherapy chamber back in October, suffocating from low oxygen levels. She was apparently using the treatment on herself after closing hours alone. Is she breathing? Is she breathing? No, but she's dead. Does that cause her any concern here? Not at all. I don't know all the finite details of what happened in Las Vegas, but when Tools like whole body cryotherapy are used appropriately. They're completely safe. There's no concern for the public at all. The state of Nevada's health department has since put guidelines in place for cryotherapy. We have our monitor here, which monitors air quality here. Though these guidelines aren't in place here in Florida, Dr. Repesey thinks we'll see them in the future and says he follows them anyway. So if you're a non-believer, Dr. Repesey says take it from Connie. It's so worth it because all the benefits when you get out of here is like, Hey, three minutes to have a great day. Perfect. Now, several websites point out the FDA has not approved cryotherapy for medical use, and some experts say there's not evidence this treatment truly helps. So at this point, you'll just have to judge for yourself. In the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.